guys so I'm just gonna do um, a haul about all the things that I bought at the cosmetic company store um, so I've got a number of things here that um, I've been using for a little while that I bought from there that were massive bargains um, I'm really happy with all these purchases so the first thing is um, the mineralized skin finish now this came in it's the medium dark but it's natural and shimmer so it's this color here and this color is gorgeous so I'm assuming that that would just be the medium dark that you bought in the normal natural skin finishes um, but this was the very first one and I bought three of these and this is the last one that I have left um, it has hooked me to mineralized skin finishes absolutely love them they make your makeup stay on twice as long um, it doesn't get shiny um, I just love them. The next product um, I got is a highlighter and I got it in um, quick flash and I also got it in a pink colour but pink colours in my kit so I'll just show you this one here. It's really nice, it's like a goldy, shelly, brown colour so you can just use that by applying it you know across the top of your cheekbones, down your nose or in the corners of your eyes. Um, so I think that one would look really nice on tan skin so um, I'll have to wait until it gets hot. Um, the next thing I'll show you is two um, of the Tender Tone lipsticks. Actually one's a tinted lip um, conditioner and that is in Petting Pink. Um, so yeah that's a really pretty colour. If you can see there. It's gorgeous, it's a really pretty um, yeah, light pink, it's very sheer so it's not as dramatic as it looks in there. The next one I got was Hot and Spicy which is more of a red and this is the Tender Tone one. Um, so it's more of a reddy pink. Um, but they just come in such nice glass containers, they're really addictive being like this. That's the same as the um, fluid lines, they come in such nice packaging that I can't resist. So, speaking of fluid lines, um, I bought two fluid lines. Um, I bought one in silver, which is frost line, or frost light, sorry, and it's this colour here. Um, and the way I wear this colour is with the black eyeliner and then this colour on top. So you can really wing that out. Um, it's a really pretty colour. White's really nice and complements, I think, anyone. It makes your eyes look really pretty. So the next colour is Brassy. So that's just the brassed colour. Um, like all the other ones, they're waterproof. They last all day. They're, um, and that was $10. So they're both worth, so that was good. The next two things I bought were, I bought two of the um, paints by MAC. I got the, now this one is Art Jam, which is a really beautiful maroony colour, I guess you would call it maroon, and it's got some really nice um, copper reflex, if you can see it there. And the other one, which I'm sure you all know what it looks like, is Bare Canvas, which is just the skin coloured one. Um, so I was really happy with those two purchases. Um, and the last couple of things that I bought were all lip glasses. Oh, except for this one. This one is Studio Lights, which is like the, um, now I can't think of it, what the name of it is called, but it illuminates underneath the eye, so it acts like a concealer, so you can just pop it here. I look a bit crazy now. Anyway, and you can just brush it underneath. And it creates, um, it just illuminates this area and just makes it look really bright and makes you look alive. It's handy in the morning when you don't want to get up and you look very tired. So that is a really good product. Um, and the next two are lip sticks, lip glasses, sorry. This first one is like basically a nothing goldish colour. Um, I'll pop a bit here. It's like a vanilla colour. It looks quite sheer on your lip. It doesn't really look like you've got much of a colour on. I guess it gives you a little bit of a milky effect. But that one is Be In in the lip glass. Um, and the next one was quite funny because 
in my mind when I saw it, I thought it was going to be like a tinted lip, um, like a tinted um, red lip um, stick, but it turns out after I put it on that it is a very, very rich, bright red, which I am love red on people but for some, I can't seem to pull off bright red lipstick it just doesn't work um, for me it looks a bit much um, so that was quite funny but I'm sure that I'll get plenty of use out of it and, and I know a lot of people want to use it so I'll get some use out of it there by using it on other people just not myself <laughs> um, so they're all the things that I bought at the cosmetic company outlet um, if you've got one near you, I definitely recommend you going to check it out there. Um, you can find some really good bargains. If you ask the staff that work there um, for products, they've got stacks of products that they don't put out on the shelf um, under their counter. All their brushes, um, they've got um, Trio plain lip glosses by MAC that they keep under the counter. Um, you know, they've got plenty, plenty of other products that they don't always put on shelf. So if there's something that you're desperate for, um, definitely ask the staff if they've got them because they most likely will. They've got a lot of products there. So, and things that are discontinued that you can't find anywhere else. Um, yeah, just give them a call before you get there. So, um, yeah, I hope that helped and I hope you all go check out the Cosmetic Company Outlet because it was great. I loved it. So, um, I will speak to you all soon. Bye.